No, ma'am. A smidge dry. I know we said budget, but like. Hey y'all, it's Marquavia Queen Smith. Hi, my name is Makiba. Hi, my name is Kayleen, and today we are trying each other's meals. But on a budget. I don't play about my money, and I don't play about my time. On a good week, like the money's right, invoices are not late, my food budget for the week is about $100. My budget on a good week is $350. I know it sounds crazy, I'm one person, I know. A budget, what's that? I don't have a budget, but I spend responsibly. You usually got a budget when rent is due or you got bills to pay. If you have children, yeah, that budget's gone. I definitely owe my frugality to my parents. The person that taught me how to save was my mom, cause she a penny pitcher. You know, my mom, she did say, do you got McDonald's money? She was very big on that. When it's not a good week, my grocery budget for the week is $30. If I'm doing a low budget, right, it's like, damn, I'm down and out. My budget is about $80, but today is 15. I made this budget dish. It is, it is pinto beans over basmati rice with fried plantains. The plantain is 50 cents. The can of pinto beans is $1.25. And the basmati rice, it was a two pound bag for $5.25. This is genuinely the meal that I make when I am on a budget. I don't expect this to score very high, but you said bring your budget meal and like this is my budget meal. Mm. <laughs> it's very Bland. It looks a little dry. The beans look dry. I like sauce. There's no sauce. There's no nothing. It needs something on it. Like it needs some type of sauce, some type of liquid. There's no meat. I really don't want to try this. Cause I need meat. So we got some beans. Who wants to eat dry beans and dry rice? I'm not gonna lie, I'm allergic to beans, so I probably won't eat this. The plantains look like typical plantains. I think the best thing on this plate is probably gonna be the plantain. This tastes like they just boiled rice and water. Literally the main ingredient in this whole meal is salt. The rice, it's not seasoned to my liking. The plantain's not bad. I think the best sweet plantain is the one that's not too hard, it's not too mushy. So I'll say the consistency of it is, is good in that sense. I don't like the beans by itself. And the beans is trying its hardest to provide flavor to this. The meal as a whole does, isn't like meshing well. If this wasn't cocoa butter, I would say, that a white person made this. No ingredient stands out because there are no ingredients. You know that smell that like, when you go, it's like some people have a smell in their house. How much do you think this meal costs? $3, $2. Plantains are like, it's like a two for four, so rice be about two, three dollars, and beans be about one to 135. We had $15 and you only spent 630. If I were to eat this as a budget meal, I would have some type of meat. Like, where's the meat? We need to be fed correctly. Anything to add to this would make it a full meal. If she made a mofongo, I would've been like, oh, okay, like, cause ain't nothing but plantains all mushed up. There's no flavor. <laughs> like, it's making me mad. You didn't want to feed us for real. And I came here to starve. You don't want me to read this meal. <laughs> I'd give it a three. And that's only because of the sweet plantain. I'm gonna give her a three and a half for the plantains. And the whole three and a half goes to the plantains. The rice and the beans is literally a zero. I decided to make this luxury budgeted meal of yellow rice and chicken with onions and bell peppers inside of it. And I made gravy. I made my gravy from scratch. So I got the chicken broth, it was $1.49. I got two chicken sliced cutlets. I got the peppers that was cut up already for $2.45. The yellow rice was 16 ounce, I got it for $2.99. And then I got an onion for 93 cents. And everything came up to $14.54. What makes my budget meal the best is, one, it's gonna be fulfilling, it's gonna taste really good, cause I love to season stuff. You're gonna be full, you're gonna be fulfilled, and you're gonna have a flavorful meal on a budget. Amen? Well, the plating sucks, so it's gonna taste great. I don't think they cheated the budget because I think all of us, we always go back to rice and chicken. I smell the chicken broth. It smells good. I can smell the chicken broth. I see some shredded chicken, red bell peppers, rice. Looking at this rice alone, it looks like Ben's. 
with lots of cracked pepper. This one had sauce, but somehow the sauce dried up. <laughs> okay, it's cold. <laughs> First of all, the rice is good. It's nice and chewy. The rice tastes like it has gravy in it. It's a little undercooked. There are pieces in there that are like... It's not too salty. This has way more flavor than the last meal. The chicken is also very well seasoned. There's this weird lingering taste when you eat the chicken. The sauce on the chicken is the best part. Well, why does it taste like cough medicine a little? Why does it taste like that? <laughs> why does it taste like that? Definitely the most flavorful thing on the plate. I'm trying to figure out what this flavor is. Well, I need to know what she put in this chicken, bruh. I definitely will finish this if y'all let me. This one looks like it costs maybe like a solid $10, and I'll say that because of the chicken. This meal maybe costs like $10. If they got this chicken from like some fancy spa, it's probably like the full $15. If I had to leave something out, it would be whatever she marinated it in. It definitely soaked up the flavors, but it soaked up the wrong flavors. If you got two more dollars in the budget, I need some greens. Just looking at it, I would say asparagus. You can get a head of asparagus for like one to two dollars. With the chicken, I would have made maybe barbecue sauce chicken. Because barbecue sauce is what, like 129? And that probably would have saved this dish for me. If I was doing my version, I would swap the chicken for like garbanzo beans. I would have given this an eight if that aftertaste of that chicken wasn't crazy. On a scale of one to 10, I would give it a seven and a half. The 0.5 is coming from the seasoning of the chicken. That sauce is really good. I would give this meal a six. Point two. Two for a sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah. I decided to make shepherd's pie. I know what y'all are gonna say. I already know it's a white people meal, but here's the thing. Sometimes you have to adopt the way that Christopher Columbus stole all of our stuff. Sometimes you have to take and make it better. I am Caribbean, so I did put scotch bonnet in here. I definitely put Goya in here. And then another special ingredient, almond milk. I actually have the receipt right here. For the ground turkey, it costs $4.19. The pasta sauce, that was $1.39. The mixed vegetables, yes, they're frozen. Mind your business. 87 cents. I used shredded cheese, so that was $2.89. The yellow potatoes were $4.29. In total, it is a $13.89. What's a black version of shepherd's pie? Shep's pie. There's layers to me and there's layers to my meal. Listen, y'all better eat this and enjoy it. Thank God we have meat. People, we get it somewhere. Musa. I think you're right. Ah! So at first I was confused because I thought it was pizza. I'm assuming it's what is called shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie is definitely a white dish. This is a white meal. However, the peas inside say black to me though. I don't know what it is. Like, <laughs> I never personally had shepherd's pie. So this is gonna be my first time having it. I don't know what sauce this is. It looks like some sort of cheese sauce. I'm gonna tear that up too. I'm avoiding the cheese as much as possible. Like I don't want my booty to squeeze. It's pretty good. It tastes like a struggle meal, only in the sense that like, there's not a lot of flavor profiles there. Taste-wise, I don't know. It's a little confusing because it's like, when I eat the meat and the vegetables and stuff, it's sweet. But then she decided like, dang, that's too sweet. Let me add some seasoning to like, balance it out. The veggies taste frozen. And I say that as like a little veggie snob, but still seasoned well. And seasoning can save anything. First of all, is these real potatoes? Cause that matters. I like, taste like instead of milk, she used water. The potato texture is really, really lovely. As y'all can see, like the mashed potatoes, it's a little still. But we ain't gonna get into that. It's good. Like the meat is cooked very, very well. It's well seasoned. Like the meat here, but what is the meat? It's more mashed potatoes than it is meat. I knew she was being cheap cause she barely put meat. Meat and cheese is expensive. This meal definitely costs the full $15. Overall, it's not bad. It's missing that little mm to it. On a scale of one to 10, I would give this a 7.7. .7. Lack of flavor profiles knocks it down a little bit. I give her a good six and a half. Why everybody scared to put meat on a plate? I don't get it. What? I won? Y'all, sorry, you can make me bless that. Well, I definitely don't disagree. I don't, I think we need a rerun. I think we need a recount, because me losing, 
unacceptable. I want to thank my mom because she's the one who introduced me to Shepherd's Pie. Do y'all want to play? Do, do you guys want to try it? You need something to drink after this, because it is a little drunk. Okay. <laughs> what do you have to say? Do you, do you want to fight? <laughs> do you want to fight? She said, keep it real. We're going to